Me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Excellent. <clears throat> Give back to you as always. You know, definitely leaving the way and paving the way for our Philadelphia market. Truly appreciate you and all that you do um, for the years that you've been with us. And I'm telling you, I'm so excited to see something uh, that's really going to work for, for you and help you and your family as well. So thank you. So <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Uh, today is class five. Uh, we've had some phenomenal training uh, last week and we had an awesome uh, event on Saturday in North Carolina with Margaret Williamson and the, and the whole North Carolina team. Uh, again, congratulations to Margaret uh, for winning the bonus of last month. We got a new prom promo on the table. I will be sending the details out of that promo today. I was, because of our technical difficulties last night, didn't really get a chance to go over it. Uh, but before the call is over today, I'll give you guys the details and, and we'll send it out in writing so you'll have it. Uh, we should have a major, major month this month. Um, on Wednesday, we're going to be doing what's called a nationwide BPM. Uh, I'm going to host it live for those of you in New Jersey. I'm going to have it uh, live right here at my house in Somerset. And for those of you in the, across the country, uh, I'd like for you to set up a, uh, a meeting at your home or your office, invite some friends there, and, we'll, and, we'll and we're going to tie you in via Zoom. And, put, and then we'll be able to highlight the different areas from people all across the country. Uh, and, and really have a lot of fun with this and give some special incentives for those who have the most guests um, in their BPM and those who uh, have the most people that sign up. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this, and we're going to be doing that on Wednesday on the, on the 6th of uh, this month, the next two days. Uh, also, some upcoming events. We'll be starting a daily webinar. That will start on Thursday. Well, actually, it's going to be starting Wednesday with our nationwide PBR, our B, our BPM. Uh, and we're going to be putting together a, vent, a live event here in New Jersey. That's going to be a tri-state event for our New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania partners. It's going to be on Saturday, June 16th. I will finalize the, the location this morning and get that information out to everyone. Uh, that's going to be a big, big event, so definitely plan to be there. Everybody that's coming from the tri-state of our New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, and if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're within a two-hour driving distance, definitely come on down. Um, and those of you that's further away, we will stream it live, so you'll be a, be a, a part of the event as well. So today's uh, training is going to be on duplication, and I'm proud to introduce to you uh, the person who's going to be presenting, our host for the training tonight. This young lady is uh, one of our uplines, phenomenal, phenomenal businesswoman. I got an opportunity to meet her when I was in Atlanta, and she was out there in, um, in North Carolina as well. Uh, she's a real estate broker by trade and a, a, a businesswoman just in whole doing a variety of things. We, her and I come from the same school of multiple streams of income. And so she definitely understands that. She teaches it. She likes to dele delegate motivate and inspire and i'll tell you something we can have nobody better to teach us on duplication no other than miss tiffany simone out of atlanta georgia so miss simone i turn the call over to you good morning and thank you joanne thank you for the introduction good morning guys i am tiffany simone i'm in atlanta and today we're going to be i was still teaching on financial needs analysis and that's fine, that's fine too. <laughs> is what I got from Anethia. She said to teach on financial needs analysis. Um, if we can definitely teach on duplication, if that's what you would like. Dwayne? No, yeah, FNA is good. That's fine. Okay. So on the financial needs analysis and the debt snowball, a financial needs analysis, guys, are what is a tool that we have available when we go out and we sit with individuals and families. A financial needs analysis, and we'll get to it and I'll share my screen here shortly. But we start at home. And when I say home, we start with ourselves, we start with our teammates, we start with our recruits. Because with this tool, we're able to collect data that will allow us to see where the individual or family is at the time to give us direction on what we need to give them as a suggestion and recommendations to help get them out of debt, put proper protection in place. And when you're going out working with families and friends that you know with your trainer, because typically it's your trainer that's gonna be doing this so we can help duplicate the system, 
um, it, it can be kind of sticky because it asks a lot of questions financially about their debt, their income, and a lot of times your friends, your close friends, and your family don't really want you in their business. So it can be a little bit sticky, so just keep that in mind. So I'm going to begin to share my screen so you can see what it looks like. We have it in a paper form. It's a cardstock form. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Come and click. Okay. All right. So this is a cardboard stock paper form. We start out when we go into the home. I like to either we're doing it at home. We can do this at Starbucks. If I am going into a home and it's a scheduled appointment to complete this file, I am going to send an introductory email to prepare the client or customer for what I need because it's very detailed. So the, what we're looking at now is the front cover on the right side is that front cover lets you know the steps that we're going over. So it's cash flow, debt management, emergency fund, proper protection, build wealth, and preserve wealth. When we go down to the next, when we open up, we're gonna open up with the information that we're starting to collect. So for me, when I go in, I've already, I've had the trainee to edify me when they're doing the introduction. So they're gonna edify me or whoever is the trainer to let them know that this person obviously holds the credentials that can put them in a better place financially, help them get out of debt, and put things in place and tools in place and make suggestions that can change their life financially. So now they have the respect for the trainer, and so they're a little bit more relieved and open to be able to share this information. So when you're looking at this, it's a, it's a huge application, as you see. I like to start, I don't go over asking all of the names and information. I start with the goals. I start with the happy part. I start with the goals and dreams and allow you to just paint the picture. Painting the picture of what your dreams are in the future. What do you, do you want a bigger house? Do you want a bigger car? Are you wanting to open a business or expand your current business? What are, do you want to take more trips? Do you want to travel? So. That's a part of me breaking the ice. I, I start. So if you can see here on this left side, it lists the goals. So part of the income goals or the debt reduction goals. Do you want to increase your cash flow? I never had anybody that told me they don't want to increase cash flow. Maximize your retirement um, account. So you're going through these questions. Allow them to dream, paint the dream. And then... Can everybody hear me? Because I'm getting some text that I'm not being heard. Can everybody hear me? You're, you're coming in, but you're, you're, you're fading out a little bit. You're fading in and fading out a little bit. Okay. So let me know if I'm still fading out. No, you're clear. You're real clear right now. Okay. So with the goals, again, we're, we're painting a picture and we're getting the good stuff. So when we get to all of their debts and their income and start getting into the nitty gritty, you know, we were at a happy space. They're comfortable. We're talking. We've gotten to know each other. And so then we go over to the income. Typically, when we're sitting down, we're wanting to sit down with families, with homeowners, married couples, with children that really have a need and understanding of the importance to have less debt, put a product in place for their children for a college fund, have the proper protection in place. So now we have where it says employment and income after the dreams. So I'm going over, I don't say what your income is. How long, have, what do you guys do for a living? And I'll probably start with the wife. And they'll start telling me, do you love your job? Do you actually know how long have you been there? Because as I'm probing with these questions, a lot of times when we're here, the cash flow is a problem. So when I'm asking these questions, it's kind of setting it up to take it for the opportunity of them becoming a business partner in the business. Because if they're lacking cash flow and in debt, sometimes the only solution that I have available is to offer them an opportunity in this business to gain cash flow. So over on the right side of this 
we're getting into their debts, as you can see, the mortgage, the auto loan, student loans, the credit card debt. And it's very important to ask them to get out all of their statements prior to you getting there. So if you know that you're actually going to complete this so that you can really do it correctly, I ask them to have at the meeting a copy of all of their statements that will show their interest rate. With that information, this tool that we have here on paper, we actually have in our WFG back office that will allow us to take the data, transfer it into the system in the back office, and it will compute and calculate numbers for us. It will calculate numbers to let them see when one of the goals is what age do you want to retire? And then it'll we'll know how much money they have saved, if they have a current retirement plan. So when we transfer all of the information from this document into our financial needs analysis online, it will then develop this beautiful package that we're able to print out, put it in a booklet. It has graphs. It, it just makes us look so professional. And it tells them how much it's going to take monthly for you to save currently at where you are in order for you to retire at the desired age. It's gonna tell us how much they need for protection to cover, to pay off their house, to pay off their debt, to establish the college fund that they needed for their kids. So it's just a really, really, really great tool. So now, if you go down here, we have the taxable, tax deferred, and tax advantage. So we're gonna get into what they currently have at hand. If they have any mutual funds, stocks, savings bonds, whatever they currently have, we're gonna mark in this. So when we're doing this, we use a black and a red pen. A black pen is to write in all the good stuff, and the red pen is to write the debt and the things that they don't have. So if they don't have the stocks, we're gonna put zero there in red. Whatever they don't have is the red and to just kind of give them their attention because they're wondering like why you're changing the pen, but it's to kind of give them a highlight of thinking what is this red for because you have zero savings, you have zero 401k, you, all these zeros and zeros are in red. So once we complete this, and I'm gonna let you guys, I'm gonna change over my screen, so give me one second, I'm gonna show you what it looks completed and it's just handwritten, one second. Do we have any questions while I'm changing over? Any questions, guys, so far before she uh, switches over? I'm your line and ask any question. So one quick question, uh, Tiff. When you input this information, is this information is being input into a system that's going to generate a report? Yes. It generates a report for you. And a lot of people don't use it. I like to use it because I just, I'm a presentation person. And when I go back after you've allowed me to be in your home and collect this data, and I'm telling you that I am a financial advisor, then when I come back to you, I think it just looks very professional that I came back with an actual document that shows you every all of the data that I collected and I'm able to present to you what your goals were, what your dreams are, what it's going to take us to get to these goals and dreams financially. And it's usually a wake up call because when you're telling me that you want a million dollars uh, to or you need a million dollars to retire and unfortunately you have only have saved $30,000 and you're 45 and you're needing to save about 2,000, it's a definite wake-up call for them to know that we have a lot of work to do. Excellent, and one last question. Do, um, is there any other type of training that needs to take place for somebody to be able to do one of these, or this happens once they become licensed? Or do they, or do they also need to be licensed? Can they use it just with their code? Well, to do a financial needs analysis, you do not need to be licensed to gather the information. That's the great thing. 
you can collect this data. I do, you can collect all of this information and bring it back to the person, whoever your trainer, because sometimes you'll go out in the field by yourself, which we don't recommend if you're just starting out, but it's collecting data. So if you're able to get these questions answered, and we always say that we're going to take it back to the powers that be. So we have a table setting. So we say that it's not just our me, you know, because you're just starting out. So we say that we have financial advisors that hold series license, and we're going to go back to the table and have a round table to discuss your financial needs. And if you don't mind, when I come back, I'm going to bring one of my leaders with me to help put some solutions in place. So being able to collect the data, no, you don't have to be licensed. Being able to give the recommendations and solutions, you do. Awesome. And these forms, I, I, I know I got a hard copy for it. I was in North Carolina, but it's also available on, the, uh, on a PDF. It is. And so I'll have all of that to you so you can put up. So if you look at this, this is just a completed one. Again, it's usually, we, it's usually a, you want to make sure that it's legible because you're handing it over to someone to assist you with it. But we're filling in the information as much as possible. If they have kids, you're putting in the information. You're putting in the goals and ask if you have any major purchases, if you're going to build a retirement, if you're going to buy a new home. So you're asking what is their time frame? What are their goals? for short-term and long-term goals. So you're going to take all of these notes because remember, you're their financial advisor. You're going to be advising them and assisting them, not just what products that you're putting in place for them, but if you're going to, cons you're going to stay in front of them, especially if they have a lot of debt and you're going to make suggestions, put them on budgets, because that's why we're doing this to see if we need to put them on a budget. If we need to do a debt snowball, which we'll get into here shortly. So as you can see, we put down the income on this page. We're writing down you, if it's part-time income, whatever income that they have, you want to make sure that you have every single piece of income. If it's a part-time job, like this person is an officer. So I'm gonna go into my PowerPoint so we can get the scenario and then we can work out some suggestions and you can see. But I just wanted to let you see that this is not typed up. We just kind of write in it, get, gathering all the questions, getting everything filled out on this form when you're in the field to bring it back to the powers that are to be are so important so we can give great solutions or proper solutions. I'm going to go in one second so we can know what the scenario that we were dealing with. So let me change out from this. Any questions on this? Oh, one more important before I switch this. On this back page, it's going to ask, with all of the steps that we have here, it says, please rate the following on the scale of 1 to 10 of what is the importance or urgency. So that allows us to know what's important to them. So is it cash flow for this particular couple? Cash flow was most important. An emergency fund was next. Having the proper protection, getting out of debt, setting up the retirement. They kind of put it in order just like how we have it, as you can see. So those were what was most important. So when we go back, we need to make sure that if cash flow was their biggest thing, and their second jobs that they currently have is not bringing in cash flow, then again, sometimes the only suggestion that we can give them is making them a partner in this business. So I'm gonna change out one second so we can know the whole entire scenario. One second. So again, with the financial needs analysis, it's a tool that what they give us in an industry, it's complementary. And so that's one of the things that sets us apart because with other industries, just for them to sit down to complete this for them, they want you to have at least $250,000 in your bank account just to go through this with you. So this is complimentary for our business to sit down and to complete our term for it as F&A, a financial needs analysis. We're going to make sure that we're 
gathering the information, that we're breaking the ice, and that we make sure that we are, we're comfortable with giving it. So this particular one, when I went out, it's a husband and wife. Their 48-year-old husband, he's a police officer. He'd been on his job since he was 21 years old. He currently earns $83,000. He only has a $50,000 term life policy, which is through his employer. So we know that there's definitely some room for improvement. The wife is 43-year-old teacher earning $40,000 a year, and she only has $75,000 thousand dollar term life through her employer their total net income after taxes and everything comes out of their check they're only bringing home eight thousand three hundred and thirteen dollars however their monthly debt was seven thousand seven hundred and twenty one dollars so that leaves them a cash flow of five hundred and ninety two dollars after they pay their bills they have only $2,600 in their savings, $1,300 in their checking. They have a 401k that they kind of diminished and took from, from when they were buying their house. The husband kind of almost depleted his savings in 401 because he wanted to finish his basement. So now he only has $27,000 in his 401k and the wife has in her, the TSP is a teacher savings plan. She has 49,000. Their debts, they have a mortgage where they owe 201000 a student loan between both of them combined are 69000 two auto loans that they owe 42000 and credit card balances of 58000 So as you can see, they're very debt heavy and they don't have a lot of income. But if something was to happen to either of these two, both of their incomes are very much needed to take care of this household. So when you're sitting down with this family, the first thing that you wanna do is talk about what we can do to make sure that if something happens, that we're putting the proper protection in place, first of all. So because they'd only have that $592 available, that's what we're looking to be able to put products in place. That's the only money that we have in place that we find available right now for cash flow. But if we look back at the financial needs analysis, a part of the questions were what they spent money on for entertainment, how much money they spent out to eat. And what I discovered is that they spend a minimum of about $400 a month out to eat, although the wife said it probably is two times that. So if we're able to sit down with this couple and give recommendations, we're going to go through that budget, go through the things that we know that are kind of frivolous spending, and we want to put them on what we call a budget, but we know that we can't shock families. Like if you go on a diet and you know you go on it and you don't stay on it, we don't want to do the same thing to them with putting them on a shocker of a budget and taking everything from them. So you wanna do it a little bit at a time. So within this, our solutions. They need a college fund. They have two children that are two and four years old. They're estimating that their college is gonna be about $400,000 at least when their children are old enough to go to school. The emergency fund, we base it on having at least three to six months worth of bills because they're seven thousand dollars so their emergency fund they need to have forty six thousand three hundred and twenty six but in their savings they had twenty six hundred dollars so we know that they need more protection so the first thing that i would suggest for them with their income if they have cash flow would be to put more protection in place the most reasonable is always going to be our product from our living benefit product. So being able to say a $1 million product for the ages of them being 43 and 48, you can put a $1 million for each of them. Now the question is always how much coverage or protection should a person have? And the rule of thumb is 10 times of what your income, annual income, 
So when you're looking at putting it in place, you look at the income, but then you look at the debt, you look at the how much, so if the husband dies tomorrow, would that $1 million be able to pay off the house, pay off all of the current debt that they have, and also be able to leave a nest egg for these children to go to college? So when you're figuring that up for either spouse to just die before these kids, before they are able to save the money, we need to make sure that we put enough in place. So you don't want to overflow them with saying that we're going, even though they need to have more retirement money, when we go to look at putting an IUL, the index plan that will allow them to save money and pull the money out, we have to be mindful that for a 43-year-old and a 48-year-old, they would have to put a quite a bit of money in there monthly to be able to get to the retirement money. So right now, for me, my recommendations for them would be to take out a $1 million policy on each of them so that they're covered in case. And then, of course, we know with the living benefit, it also allows them that if something should happen to them, stroke, heart attack, cancer, ALS, any critical or chronic, that the living benefit will pay them while they're still living. So that's, an, that's advantageous for them as well. We don't want to put them in more debt by suggesting that, oh, you've taken an IUL now and it's three or $400 a month because they don't have the cash flow. So we know that the second thing for these, this couple was an emergency fund. So now I would tell them that if we could take back half of what we're doing to eat out, so the $200, that we would show the recommendations of putting them on a budget. So we know that we have for these, this couple to put that living benefit, it was $249 approximately to put two $1 million 30-year plans in place. So we know that they have 592 cash flow. I would also suggest since they're up there in age that we put a permanent smaller policy in place just in case they don't get another job don't come into the business, come into the, and, and don't do anything. I don't want them to be 55 years old living off the term because then I did a disadvantage. So if I put a permanent policy in place for at least 25,000, that will never go away. That makes that they're able to bury them at when this, at the 78, if they outlive this policy, that they still had a policy in place that will never go away. The $200, this $350 that we have towards the emergency fund, it will be where it's the $200 that I remove that they're sacrificing just half of what they pay to eat out and $150 left over from their cash flow. So that gives them $350 that they're saving each month to go towards their emergency fund. So that leaves them $150 over for incidental. And so for this particular family, we would be putting them on a budget and allowing them to see that we're going to just start with something small and not say that, you, you know, you can't eat out anymore, period. You, you can't go do your entertainment because most people are going to fail if you do that. So you want to definitely start slow and smart and then as and then do a review in six months or three months depend for this particular family we will see in six months if they actually save that three hundred and fifty dollars if they did that then that's good i have a question um you said that we can um put the information in our back office and generate a report are you going to show us where we put the information in great information and the the uh, we'll make sure that the PowerPoint gets sent out it will be also placed in the Dropbox the financial needs analysis uh, the PDF will be placed in the Dropbox we also have hard copies um, I believe they got some new forms coming out I know Anithi was saying that they were they were unable to order new ones because I can believe they're, they're updating them 
So we'll, that should be available at a convention. But we, in the interim, we can use the ones that we have. What I do suggest in the homework assignment for everyone is to do their own FNA, financial needs analysis, on themselves. Because I think it's great when you sit down with clients and other customers, and this is something you don't have to be licensed for. So even all of our unlicensed people can do their financial needs analysis. So when you sit down, people, you can show them your financial needs analysis and say, so they see that you are, you're a product of your own environment, and then they can, they'll feel comfortable knowing that you are practicing what you are preaching. And you show, and, and most people, when you talk about finances, they want to make sure they're taking advice from someone who's got their own thing together. They don't want to take advice from somebody who's a wreck. If they're taking advice, they want to make sure that you got your, so when you're, shit, it doesn't not necessarily say you're doing it, but at least it shows that you got a plan in place, that whether you're utilizing that plan is irrelevant for, for them. And that's just what you're saying. That's why we start at home. We start at home with our teammates and ourselves because we are being hypocrites if we're in debt. We don't have a plan in place and we don't have a debt snowball that we've done for ourselves to get out of the credit card debt to pay off our houses earlier. How can we share this information, advise this information to someone if we're not doing it ourselves? So this is once we sit with them and we complete that financial needs analysis, if you're sitting with a family or an individual that has a lot of debt and you get their interest rates, their payoffs, that's why I said filling that out completely is so very important to be able to complete the other tools that we have to put in place for them. But if you don't have the payoff, if you don't have the interest rates, the payment that they currently have, you're not really able to fill us off, fill us out correctly and provide a solution. So if you're looking here on the right side, it explains to you what the strategy is and what we're trying to accomplish. So when you put everything in here, the debt snowball for the debt reduction calculator is supposed to allow us to pay off the credit cards faster or debt faster based upon the interest rate. So it's going to give you the payment that you would need to either double up on and it's going to show you if you pay this amount instead of paying your base amount because you know when you pay that the lowest amount you're only paying the not even the interest, and it's gonna to continue to compound. But if you pay an extra 20, 30, or $40 a month, then we can reduce it and pay it off in 10 months, opposed to you just paying that bare minimum payment. And so that's what it's supposed to do, and allow them to see that we're gonna take these three credit cards off that you've been paying off for five years, because you're only paying the minimum. But if you put an extra $50, if we can budget it in, then we can have this $500 credit card paid off within 10 months because people will have $500. I've seen they have a $500 balance and they've only been paying $25 a month for two years. And they keep saying it's not going down, but not realizing that that compounded interest keeps coming and that's all you're paying. You're not touching the balance, the principal. So when you get all of the information, you're definitely able to provide this as a solution. We currently do. So remember what she said, the, the, the system in place now is being updated to go along with the current or with the new software they have in place. So there'll be a new, there'll, there'll be a new FNA um, layout, if you will, within the next week or two. But in the interim, I would like you guys you know, to play with the user back office. You, even if you're unlicensed, you have, you have a back office, you can go prepare your own F&A, which is really great to, uh, to see for yourself. I know I'm going to do that today myself, um, so that you have a plan for you. And then when you're talking <clears throat> to family or friends or colleagues or prospective clients, you can share with them what you did for yourself and the, why you're now sharing with, with other people. And then as the new one rolls out, we'll do a training just on the new one. 
So when you come in, if you click on this eyeglass here and you just put an F and A, it's gonna bring you to this screen. You click on financial needs analysis tools. And then you click on create an F and A case done that you can it'll here have here let me try to take this off my side screen so I can there we go so you want to you can modify what you have but when you want to create a new one since we're time we're gonna just open up one so you can see how you can enter it in so it asks you the same thing like on that first application where it has the household information And then you would enter in all of the information, the address, their income on that page. And from my understanding, I'm not gonna change so much of the format. So these percentages that are there during retirement are usually set so we don't have to change these. So kind of just leave those. And so you see these are the dreams and goals. Whatever you took when you were there, it looks identical. You just check off whatever it is. Go to the next page. And so now we're at the income. So again, this first, this was a, she's a teacher and a therapist. Her income is there. If you wanted to add in more income, you would just click here to add in another job. And it'll allow you, if it was a couple, but this was a single woman, you would have added her husband in. So the drop down box would have that and you would click on his name. You would click save after you finished. And here is asking you income taxes. It's telling you what percent. Usually it's going to calculate it for you. It's gonna ask the same way on the application if they got a refund. It also asks what did they do with their refund when they got the refund. So then you wanna go to debt management. Any questions so far on this? No, it's, it looks like it's pretty self-explanatory. Looks good though. Yeah, what we present to them. I take mine to Office Depot and I get it in a booklet with a clear front copy on it and I present it and I get a copy and leave for them. Great. Yeah, it's not. So I'll pull up in one and send it to you so you can put it in Dropbox. Any questions? This is great information. Any, any questions, guys? <clears throat> Unmute your lines, ask any questions. And remember, you don't have to be licensed to go collect this data. I just wanted to add something. When she was talking about the clear booklet that you can locate at Home Depot or uh, Depot. Staples. Yeah, mm -hmm. Office Depot or Staples. They usually charge like $8, $5, dollars 8 dollars for them. You can get a set of three on Amazon for about the same price, ladies and gentlemen. And it has the clear cover with the little flip thing, and it looks very professional. Why, well, thank you for that. So the other, when we bring everything in and we have a next training that we can do when we're really showing you how to use your back office, I think it's better once we get the new systems integrated so we're not learning something we're not going to have for a while. You're able to use what the CRM system and also behind the scenes you have a lead, not lead generation, but you have where you can stay in front of your clients. So that can be our next training um, in the next week or two, Dwayne. 
where we can show them where they can enter all their clients, they can send out newsletters, they can send out announcements that they're in business, they have things that they can use on social media. So it's a lot of stuff in the back office that you're able to use to brand yourself. It's no extra cost and to be able to stay in front of people. So if you're inviting someone to one of our business presentations and meetings and they don't come, you can put them on a drip and say, we missed you at this VPN, but our next one is on this day. It'll automatically send. And if they're just your, once they become your client, you want to stay in front of them at all costs. So if you put them on a drip, it's going to send them a happy birthday. It'll send them happy anniversary. It'll send them a, a invitation to do a review within a year when they're after you wrote their policy. And when you're in business, you need to stay in front of your clients. It's very important. So using that tool, you set it up one time, it does it for you. And additionally, it has a portion where you can see who's opened your emails. And it's very good to be able to track who's opening your stuff. You don't want to be sending out stuff and no one's ever looking. So it's, a, it's such great stuff that we have behind the scenes to assist us with our business. We, I mean, we have so many tools. So I think that would be great for us to have in the upcoming weeks to be able to show us what we have in our back office to use. Post this info and have it on a, a digital, di digitized form uh, in, our, in our HLC site as well. So when people who are lead generation, this is, the, this is the information that we will gather for the lead and then for you to prepare, and we'll tell them it's a free analysis. And then, as I'm looking at this, I think it's really great. And as it changes, as the system, as they upgrade it, we'll just upgrade it with it. But again, I uh, want you guys to, to play with it today. Um, do your own needs analysis so you can get a feel of it and start learning it. And then when the, when the system changes, uh, we, we are going to keep this going. So I know we have Tina on as well. We are set uh, for tomorrow, starting tomorrow, series of five training sessions and it's with uh, Eric Hahn who is a, uh, directly with Transamerica, a trainer. And I'll send you a list of the topics. I'm really excited about it. But um, the, uh, so we're set for the next five sessions on training and I'll send you the list and you can tell me which, in which order you'd like for them to flow, uh, Dwayne. Okay, and this is the, this is the pro product training, correct? Product training, absolutely. Through Transamerica, great. Also, um, we have a nationwide trainer, which is, a matter of fact, Mr. Alvin Darians, our e EMD. His wife is the, um, one of the, the individuals that, that trains on behalf of Nationwide. She, she's in New Jersey. And we're, we're, those of us here in New Jersey, uh, we're going to be doing a, having a lunch with her this coming Wednesday. <clears throat> so uh, I'll send out a, a text to all of you guys that's local, and you can get all your questions about, about Nationwide Insurance. So she's our you know, like an assistant for account, uh, like account rep, if you will, for Nationwide. And, uh, and uh, be able to assist us with any policy you're putting through them. And she's, she's, uh, her, 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 her market is New Jersey. So she is here this, this coming Wednesday, the next two days. But um, that's great, Tina, if you send me the thing. To, and just, just explain who Eric is so everybody knows who this, guy, who this gentleman is. Yes. Um, Eric is, let me get his exact title. He, he, uh, he's a virtual regional wholesaler with Transamerica, who's experienced and can train on all of the Transamerica product. He's going to teach the IGO, and that's how you actually insert an application. Uh, the, we'll start with the FFIUL, with long-term uh, care and living benefits. Um, my Transware, the illustration software, uh, the uh, importance of field underwriting and conditional coverage and uh, non-medical point of sale program. The fifth will be the Transamerica fixed indexed annuity. Awesome. How does that sound? That, that sounds great. Good, mm -hmm. good, good, good. 
So, uh, and, and we'll we place them in any order that you like. Okay, great. You just send me the list, would be great. And then I will. <clears throat> all the trainings will be recorded. Um, you can, if you misplace them, they'll, 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 you can also always find them. I record them and I, and I upload them to YouTube. It's in our HLC Lifestyles YouTube channel. So you can um, subscribe to that. So if you subscribe to uh, YouTube or HLC Lifestyles YouTube, uh, there's no cost for that to subscribe to it. Then every time we load something, it's going to send you a notification that we just loaded up or, or loaded a, a, a new video. And then th that will always be available for you to review at any time. As you bring on new partners, uh, we're going to label th these first five sessions <clears throat> as like the fast track, the fast start, something every new person needs to do. They review from, from these first five. And then starting tomorrow, we'll just we'll, we'll do different trainings on different topics. So the next five days, <clears throat> excuse me, will be product training. Quick and congratulate Tina Samuels for getting promoted to marketing director. Everybody, let me unmute her. Everybody, everybody, everybody congratulate Tina. Woo! Go, Tina. Go, Tina. Go, Tina. <laughs> thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> If you guys ever have any questions, if you are talking to someone that's trying to get any in the business and you need someone else to talk to them, if you're trying to quote for something, don't hesitate to give me a call. And Dwayne, please send them my contact information. I am here, so please use me um, if you should need any assistance. Great. Her number, guys, if you look on your, on your screen, her number is the one, two, three, fourth number down, the 470 295 3858. 